In this video we are converting IP addresses to binary numbers with an easy method, so let's get started. In this video what we are going to do is that, suppose for example our IP address is 192.168.1.1 which contains 4 octets. Take 192 and convert it to 8 binary digits, take 168 and convert it to 8 binary digits like that. Now let's look on how to convert it. For that first write an IP address, that is 192.168.1.1. After that also write set as per the video. After successfully write IP address and set, now take the first set of the IP address that is 192 and also take 128 from set. And in this step, subtract 128 from the set and 192 from the IP address. When we subtract 128 from 192 we get 64. So what this means is that 128 can be divided from 192, so we can write 1 as a binary number. Next take 64 from the set, and 64 which we got when we divide 128 from 192. When we subtract 64 from 64, we got 0. What this means is that 64 from 64 can be subtracted, so we can write 1 as a binary number. We finally got 0, when we subtract 64 from 64, so we cannot do more subtraction, and you can write 0 as a binary number for the remaining 6 binary numbers. Next take 168 from IP address, and 128 from the set. And now let's subtract 128 from 168. As you can see when we subtract 128 from 168, we got 40. So 128 can subtract from 168, so we can write 1 as a binary number. Next, we can write 64 from the set, and 40 from the subtraction we got. 64 cannot be subtracted using 40, so we can write 0 as a binary number. As you can see next, we can subtract 32 from the set to 40 from the subtraction. 32 can be subtracted using 40, so we can write 1 as a binary number. And now we get subtracted value 8, and from the set 16. 16 cannot be subtracted using 8. So we can write 0 as a binary number. Now next we can select 8 from the set, and 8 from the subtracted value. 8 can be subtracted using 8, so we can write 1 as in binary number. And also you can write 0 as the remaining binary values. Now we can take 1 from the IP address, and 128 from the set, and do the same as per previous binary conversion. As you can see 1 cannot be subtracted, using the first 7 numbers in a set. In this case 1 can only be subtracted using 1 at the last number in set. And do the same for the last set of IP address also. You get the same binary value you do it for 1.